hello and welcome to today's tutorial video in today's video we're going to learn how to draft the basic bodies block for starters i would like to say a massive thank you to everybody who is a subscriber of this channel and um anybody who's just chanced on it um, would i would advise that you subscribe now and hit on the notification bell just so that you'll be notified anytime a new video is uploaded let's get right on with today's project so i have my body measurements in front of me um i've put my body measurements into two i have my horizontal measurement and my vertical measurement so your horizontal measurements are the measurements that goes around your body like your bust round measurement your waist round measurement your hip round measurement all the measurements that goes horizontal are the measurements i have here on my left and the ones that goes vertical as your shoulder to your waist your shoulder to your bust your shoulder to your hip all of those are your vertical measurements all right now let's go on to the next step before we start our draft. so for your horizontal measurements you're going to be dividing them by four and the reason why you're doing that is anytime you're drafting a body's block we will be drafted on a quarter size ideally it's better to take your measurement over just your underwear and not over your sweaters or any heavy bulky garment so that you can get the perfect body size and then you can transfer it onto paper onto the body's block so i'm going to be giving you a basic presentation of this body's block and i believe you're going to enjoy it in the end all right i have my horizontal measurement on my left hand side and then my vertical measurement on my right hand side so for the horizontal measurement because we are we are drafting on a quarters block i'm going to be dividing my past circumference or past round measurement by four they will find the answer the waist also by four the hip also we divide it by four the bust span which is nipple to nipple so others call it nipple to nipple or the bust span that one you divide it by two your neck you divide it by four and then your shoulder to shoulder that is from one shoulder to the other shoulder is what you're going to be dividing by two as well your vertical measurements are just left as it is you don't touch those ones all right so let's get on with the drafting itself okay so these are all the measurements i have divided by four and by two and as usual i work in inches so if you're the type that works in centimeters then you have to do the conversion into centimeters okay so let's get on with um, the draft i have two papers in front of me i'm going to be drafting my front bodies and my back bodies at the same time so what i have in front of me i believe you can see it properly are two papers put together and here i have indicated my zip allowance of one inch okay So my zip allowance is what I have indicated, zip allowance of one inch. Zip allowance always goes to the back, all right? So this is obviously going to be my back draft. And then I'm going to lay my front draft starting from here, from starting from the zip allowance in. Okay, I'm going to get some sellotape to stick it together and then we start drafting from there. Okay, so now the top line here serves as my shoulder line, okay? so this will be my like i said this is my the top one is going to be my front body's block and then the one beneath with the zip other ones is the back body's block all right so i'm going to indicate here center front and here will be center back all right and then we're going to start putting in our vertical measurements first okay so i'm going to grab my tape measure and then i'm going to do shoulder to waist i'll do shoulder to bust first so I do my shoulder to bust measurement, which is 10 inches, and I'm going to indicate that on the paper. Then I'll put in my shoulder to waist measurement, which is 15. And then my shoulder to hip measurement, which is 22. For the sake of drawing straight lines, I'm just going to transfer the same markings here, just so that I'll be able to draw my measurement straight. This is my bust, this is my waist, and this will be my hip. 
okay now that we've done that let's work on our neck area and then on our armhole area so let's come back to the shoulder so for standard um, bodies block we always put in a three inch neck width okay so from here which is my center front line i mean three inches mark and then we go to her shoulder width shoulder to shoulder measurement for me the shoulder to shoulder measurement was 15 divided by 2 and that will give me 7.5 so i'm going to go this way mark out 7.5 which is half of my shoulder and from that point i'm going to drop that point down one inch so i'm going to do the marking here and then leave it there now i'm going to connect this point to that point here Now let's try and find our actual shoulder line once it's dropped and still see if it's going to end here. All right, so this is three inches. Now our actual shoulder line is 7.5. So 7.5 minus three, what would we have 4.5? So if this is three inches, let's see if we can have 4.5 here. So I'm going to get my tape measure bring it back and measure out 4.5 it looks like 4.5 is not too far from the actual point line so i'm going to have to draw a perpendicular line down and okay so from this point you're now going to de decide what the armhole is going to be now you realize that on my measurements i did not um, measure the armhole because i was going to get the calculation from your bust there's a way of calculating it so to find your armhole find the armhole length that is your bust measurement so your full bust measurement divided by 6 plus 1.5 and that is how to determine it so my full bust measurement is 39 divided by 6 plus 1.5 the answer is 8 okay so our armhole depth is going to be 8 inches so from this line I'm going to come down 8 inches and I have to make sure that my lines are perpendicular to each other okay so I'm just going to draw my 8 inches line all right and this new line becomes my chest line okay so this actually now becomes my actual chest line all right so this is my my chest line all right now that we've done this let's put in our um, neckline so for standard measurement for body's block like i was saying earlier it's three inches across and then three inches down all right so i'm going to measure three inches down and then get my armhole care and then do uh neckline curve now so i'm going to just connect my armhole curve to the corners and then draw out my curve line so this will be my front neckline now let's draw in the back neckline and for that i'm going to be using a red pen just for the differentiation okay so for the back neckline i'm just going to be dropping it by one inch And then I'll connect it to the shoulder point. Okay, so basically that is it for the neckline. So this is for the back. And this is for the front. All right, now let's sort out the armhole curve. So for the armhole curve, I'm going to measure this length out, which is eight inches. I'm going to divide it by two. I need to just find the midpoint of this armhole depth line and that is four so four is here okay four is here 
so uh, from this point i'm going to come in you can come in one inch or um, three quarter of an inch so i'm going to do three quarter of an inch all right and that will be here for me so again i'm going to grab my armhole cap connect this point to this and then this point to um, your armhole all right okay so this is our front armhole cap now let's find out let's sort out our back armhole cap so for the back armhole cap connecting this point to touch your chest line so i'm just going to go in like that and then this will be for our back armhole cap all right now that we have sorted all these out let's go on and work on our dart okay so our bust pan or our nipple to nipple is was seven and then we divided it by two and that came to 3.5 inches so i'm going to mark out 3.5 inches on my bust and then on my hip line all right so 3.5 inches is here that is here and then i'll mark it as well on the hip and that is here okay so i'm going to connect those points one inch below the bust is where your dust is going to start from and then it's going to end at two inches above your hip line so i'm going to put those markings in that is where it's going to start from and then it's going to end from two inches above your hip line okay now on the waist area you're going to go half an inch on both sides for a standard figure now for a busty person you can go three quarter of an inch on both sides but for a regular or a not a plus size figure you're just going to do half an inch so i'm going to connect these points now that we have our front that in place let's go ahead and put in our horizontal measurements our bust um, round measurement was 39 inches 39 inches divided by four that gave us 9.75 all right so 9.75 is what i'm going to impute now 9.75 is here i put that in i put the same for the chest as well 9.75 and then for our waist is 7.25 but you remember that we had added one inch for our dart so this needs to be brought here because when you hold your dart together it pulls in one inch so if you leave it at exactly 7.25 that will not work you need to add extra inch to it so that when you pull in your dart you have enough room to fit in so we're going to do seven point which is our actual waist measurement which is 7.25 plus the dart allowance which is one inch and that brings it to 8.25 so i'm going to mark it out at 8.25 so this is eight inches 8.25 will be here so that is what we're going to have then our hip measurement is also going to be 9.75 now because uh that allowance did not extend to this place we don't add any allowances to the hip area we are going to leave it at 9.75 okay that is here so at this point i'm going to connect all my side lines so the connection was going to be from the chest to the bust before it comes here so not this line is actually this line all right so that is our side line so we are done with our basic bodies block for our front what is left to do is to add our seam allowances i know that some people don't want the seam allowances on the body's block they prefer to add it on the fabric but for the sake of drafting i'm going to be adding my um, seam allowances now all right so i'm going to add 
one inch seam allowance on the side then at the bottom here is going to be half an inch for the seam allowance at the bottom so i'm going to put half an inch here and then i'm going to draw that in but i'm going to draw that with just my pen because there's something i want to talk about that may change the actual allowance at the bottom so i don't want to use the deep pen for that but i'll talk about it in a minute then at the top here you're going to also add half an inch so i'm going to put it there now i want to put in a side or a bust dart okay so this is the front dart and this is the side dart the side dart will be here we're going to put the side dart here all right and the essence of the side that is to make your bust look full or to bring out the shape of your bust in that area so what we're going to do is to find the midpoint of this line so your chest line to your waistline we're going to find the midpoint for this and then that is where our bust line is going to start from okay so i'm going to measure this out and that gives me six point two five I'm just going to fold my tape measure into two to find a midpoint of that. So I'll just place it here to help me determine the midpoint of this. And that is about here. Okay, so I'm just going to connect this point to the bust in a line. I'll just extend it into my seam allowance so connect it into a line then i'll start doing my dart one inch away from the bust point okay or from the nipple point and then i'm going to also go half an inch on the side half an inch on the side to determine the width of my dart legs okay and then one inch away from the bust will be here so that is where it's going to start from so i'm going to draw in my side that or bust that so whatever you choose to call it that is what it's going to be but you remember you can see that if we hold this in it's going to impact on this length in the end it's going to impact on the actual hip length so what we have to do is to make room for that so i'm going to drop this line by one inch here so that when we hold it up we still have enough room to just pull it back into place in this line that was why i did not draw out the actual seam allowance line there so i'm going to extend this line by one inch okay and then connect it to the actual line so when i have extended it by one inch then from this one inch we can now add half of the same allowance now so what i'm going to do now is to cut out both bodies block the front and the back bodies block out but i'll first cut both of them out in the back bodies block then we will shape out the front bit from there and then fit properly finish off our back pattern oh, so now this is our front bodies i'm going to detach it from the back one Now once we do that, I'm just going to pull it to the side just slightly and get a few points in place line, my waistline, I can see the marking, so I'll just transfer it onto it. But if, before we completely put away the front bodice block, I'm going to cut out my neckline for the front. then we are completely done with the front for this block so i'll put it front ok 
Okay, and I'm going to put that on the side. Now let's finish it off with the back bodies block, all right? So I'm just going to straight away put in the bust, waist, and hip lines. And then we take it from there. And then our actual hip line was here. Okay. And then our chest line is here. You can see it. So I'm just going to go over that line. What I'm going to do next is to put in our back dart, all right? So for our dart, the first span, half of it was 3.5. So 3.5 is what I'm going to put in now from the chest. I'm going to measure 3.5. And then 3.5 on the hip line as well. Okay, so the difference between um, the front dart and the back dart is the front dart starts from one inch below the bust line and ends at two inches above the hip line. But for the back dart, it starts from one inch below the chest line and ends at two inches above the hip line. Okay, so that's the difference at the point where they start. So for my back that is going to be starting from my bust line, actually looking at it, I can guess this is about one inch, all right? So it's going to start from here. And then the back, that legs are going to also open um, half an inch on both sides. Okay, so I'm going to put those in and then I'm going to start drawing them out. Another difference I want to point out is um, the side that or the breast that was put on the front bodies and that made us drop our hip line down. So for the back bodies, you're going to bring the hip line back to its place because there is no side that over there. So I'm just going to cut that extension out because we do not need it and then bring our similar ones half an inch up here. We bring it back and that's it so i'm just going to put in similar ones now i'm going to bring my front body block back because i realized i did not cut out my front arm whole cable so this is our front body and that is our back body block all right there's something that i have just upgraded myself on and i want to bring it in into this video so when you lay your zip sometimes you see there is a bulky bit at the back of your zip at the waist area i'm going to go in half an inch all right half an inch and then i'll connect it to my lines here okay And then come and connect that to this one as well so that is my to take away the bulk at your zipper area when you fit in your zip now you have to take this half away from our zip allowance as well so from the zip allowance which is at the waist area here i'm going to come in half an inch and i presume just by eyeballing it is somewhere here so from that point i'm just going to take that out as well i'm just flatten it out with the original line at the end here okay so you have that and then we take it up to join that on this side as well okay so i'm going to cut that out and then we'll be done with the body block that will be it for today so we've come to the end of today's tutorial of the basic body block from this you can generate different styles i believe you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give our video a thumbs up if you've not done that already during the video whilst you were watching and if you've not subscribed already please do subscribe and leave all comments in the comment section below 
we'll be careful to respond to them all and so and we need to that can be really too. stressful as women so the ultimate is actually to make sure that the women relax so that they can have a comfortable lifestyle so we'll make it a bit that's the only way and the border the border for them It's a platform to bring women together, mostly stay-at-home moms, unemployed women, women who are in depression, women in isolation. The idea is to encourage community cohesion. It really helps in terms of my um, mental health and, and then I have like developed relationship with new friends, meeting new people. I see people who've been here who did not have confidence. I see that their confidence have boosted up a bit. I'm happy that I've learned something new. At least now I can do alterations. I can make dresses for my little girls. You can see that they are multicultural and they relate with each other properly. So we are like a small family. It's a good thing that she put this thing together for women because a lot of us you know, sometimes we sit at home, bored at home, but this is really helpful.